Before we even begin our video today, we're giving you a heads up that you're gonna want to get in your car and go get a tiny dog yourself. So don't say we didn't warn you because this video will be crammed with all sorts of cuteness, sweetness, durability, not even sure that's a word, and much more. Enjoy our list of tiniest dog breeds in the world. Number 22, the French Bulldog. What's not to love about this ultra cute French Bulldog? They're only around 11 inches and weigh a mere 22 pounds, with some being slightly bigger or smaller dog depending. They have a short face, puffed out chest, and little bat-like ears. They're rather muscular little guys, and with the correct training are great to keep in apartments because they don't bark a lot. They're good with kids and other animals. Number 21, Chihuahua. Despite there only being one breed of this cute critter, the variation in the breed is phenomenal. Some have long coats, others short coats, they come in so many different colors, and they can even differ in head shape. They weigh between 4 and 6 pounds, and only stand between 6 and 10 inches tall. These dogs require a lot of training and usually gravitate towards one person, which can sometimes pose problems in a house with kids. However, with the right training and patience, it could be a great relationship all around. Number 20, Affenpinscher. This pup is a German breed that has its history in the 17th century, where they were used to eradicate vermin from the kitchens and stables. They weigh around 6 to 13 pounds, can be rather stubborn, and love being active and outside. Number 19, Russian Toy Dog. This gorgeous dog could be mistaken for a child's toy. They are that small. They were bred in the 19th century as companions for the ultra-wealthy. They are as light as a feather and only weigh between 3 and 6 pounds and are known to be extremely loving, intelligent, and loyal. They come with either long hair or short hair and just know you'll fall instantly in love. Number 18, the Boston Terrier. Many people have the misconception that Boston Terriers are the same breed as a French Bulldog, and they do look rather alike. However, they are entirely different breeds. Boston Terriers are also small with well-muscled bodies and short hair. These sweet pups are super friendly, so it's advised to train your little one to not go off with a stranger. Unfortunately, due to their size, cuteness, and cost, they do tend to get stolen rather often. Number 17, Brussels Griffin. This is definitely a name that not too many people are familiar with, and it's a rather uncommon breed from, you guessed it, Brussels in Belgium. This pooch is long-legged, short-faced, and was kept in stables to hunt vermin. They're between 7 and 8 inches tall and can weigh anywhere from 7 to 12 pounds. They come with a rough or smooth coat. Usually, they stick to one human and are not fond of children. On the other hand, they do bond really well with other animals. They're smart, sensitive, and love a good snuggle. Number 16, Japanese Chin. Another dog bred for royalty. This is the Japanese Chin, and their best attribute, they're great for parking off in your lap and staying put. They weigh only roughly 9 pounds, are intelligent, and said to have a temperament similar to a cat. They clearly haven't met my cat then. This is the perfect companion, especially for the elderly. Number 15, the Maltese. The Maltese have been around for forever and are considered the world's oldest dog breed. A rather more peculiar history than most dogs, this one was thought to have been discovered by the Phoenicians around 1500 BC on the island of Malta, hence the name. These days, you can be sure that this breed of pup is going to be lovable, playful, and at times, a little cheeky. Number 14, the Bichon Frise. Our next tiny entry is the Bichon Frise, which comes from Spain. The name Bichon Frise means curly lap dog, and that's what this sweet pup is. They're known to be friendly, cheerful, playful, and pretty smart, and have a coat of dense, curly white hair. They look like a fluffier version of our previous entry. We would just want to cuddle this one and never let it go. These canines are great with kids and very easy to train. Number 13, Pomeranians. These level pooches are a popular choice when it comes to small breeds. They stand between 5 and 11 inches tall and only weigh about 4 to 8 pounds. Sometimes they do appear larger, but that's only because of their vast amounts of fur. These beauties have the most coat colors of any dog breed, with 18 different varieties available. Their coats are so thick because they're double, with a softer, shorter undercoat and a longer, thicker overcoat. Grooming is imperative with this breed. They're lovable, extroverted dogs, and are easily trained. Number 12, Papillon. These pint-sized pooches are known for their butterfly-shaped ears and have been seen in paintings dating all the way back to the 1500s. Weight is between 8 and 10 pounds, and their name means butterfly-eared. Most of the time, the ears are upright, but sometimes they do have drooping ears. And then the dog is known as la Falaine, the French word for moth. A friendly breed of dog, they're good with children and do well with strangers and other pets. Number 11, Toy Fox Terrier. This charming canine is a descendant of the Smooth Fox Terrier and is highly energetic and bright. They're excellent listeners and do well in agility competitions. They make for fantastic pets and they're, of course, very small. They are between 8.5 and, and 11 inches tall and can weigh anything from 3.5 to 9 pounds. They're known for being exceptionally active right into their old age. Number 10, Chinese Crested. 
Another dog bred purely for companionship, but more for the purpose of an invalid, is this one, known as the Chinese Crested Dog. They're known for being very good at picking up nonverbal signals and being able to preempt the needs of the person they're looking after. They can lie in bed for hours without moving and have little desire to head outdoors and lead a life like normal dogs. Despite that, they can be energetic and athletic and are rather agile. They're not keen on strangers, and when they love you, they love you with every inch of their being. The hairless Chinese crested dogs can either be exceptionally beautiful or they're on the complete other side of the spectrum and can be really ugly. Many a hairless Chinese crested dog has, in fact, won the world's ugliest dog competition. Number nine, Shih Tzu. And don't go around saying that too quickly. This is a family-friendly video. Translated, this means a little lion in English, and now that you've seen them, it's pretty self-explanatory. These dogs have been around since 8,000 BC and are one of the oldest breeds of dogs in the world. They have long, silky hair that would make most men and women jealous, and with that, you do need to ensure it's always looked after. They're excellent companions, gentle, calm, very loyal, and love to love. Number eight, Yorkshire Terrier. If you asked people to name a small breed of dog, they would very likely say Yorkshire Terrier. They began as ratters in Yorkshire, England, but are now the sixth most popular breed of dog, and they're the most popular toy breed of dog. Height for these guys, six to nine inches, and weight just under seven pounds. Their coats are gorgeous, and they're also hypoallergenic and don't shed nearly as much as other dogs. They like their exercise. However, they're not that high energy, so they don't need too much exercise. They're very good cuddlers, but sadly, not particularly fond of children. Number seven, Frog Ratter. This tiny breed is from the Czech Republic and is not often seen outside of the Czech Republic. Their coats are short with glossy hair and they're usually found in black and tan. They only reach heights of 7.8 to 9 inches and they weigh roughly four and a half pounds. They have an amazing sense of smell, which is why they were excellent at finding and exterminating rats. Number six, Miniature Dachshund. Weighing in at eight to 11 pounds, this cute pooch reaches heights of five to seven inches. They have some sweet nicknames like Hot Dog, Sausage Dog, and Wiener Dog. This breed was developed in Germany and has been around since the 16th century. Dachshund is German for Badger Dog. German hunters were particularly fond of this breed during the 19th century as they were brilliant at catching hares and getting into the smaller burrows. Number five, the Pug. There is no way we could write a list about tiny dogs and not include this one. They come standard with flat, round faces and deep set wrinkles. Pug is a Latin word meaning fist. Their faces have been likened to a human fist. Do you see it? They're certainly not the smallest on our list because they can reach heights up to 14 inches, but they are definitely among the cutest. They're said to be very in tune with their owner's tone and are therefore trained with ease. Don't let their size fool you. They are amazing watchdogs. Number four, English Toy Spaniel, or they're referred to as the King Charles Spaniel, not to be mistaken for the Cavalier King Charles Spaniel, although both do have an intriguing history. When the English Toy Spaniel first came into being, it had a much more pointed nose, but as the hound was bred with other types of dogs, the nose became a lot flatter. In the late 19th century, a man named Roswell Eldridge offered a cash prize to anyone who could bring back the pointed snout. That is how the Cavalier King Charles Spaniel came about. The English toy was still smaller than the new breed with heights of 10 to 11 inches and weighing just around eight to 14 pounds. They're good natured animals, gentle, loving, and will be devoted to their owners, although they are known to struggle with separation anxiety. Number three, Havanese. These pooches were almost extinct on their native island of Cuba. They're officially Cuba's national dog and the small breed has become popular as pets. Despite being toy dogs, they're pretty sturdy and not overly delicate. They come in a few different shades and their hair length can vary. They stand around 10 inches tall and were originally bred for companionship for Cuban aristocracy in the 1800s. They're bright dogs, easy to train and very obedient. Number two, Lhasa Apso. Another name that may not sound too familiar is the Lhasa Apso, a compact dog that comes from the mountains of Tibet. They're a hardy, smaller breed, standing at roughly 11 inches tall. The females are generally a little smaller than the males, and weight comes in between 13 and 15 pounds. They have unusual feet, which are rounded and almost cat-like. They were used as palace watchdogs back in the day, but these days they make excellent companions. Their coats are silky and often touch the floor, so be prepared to spend a lot on grooming. This devoted canine will be worth the effort, though. Number one, Norfolk Terrier. For ultimate cuteness, let's wrap up with the Norfolk Terrier, a dog that was bred to hunt vermin in England, quite like our Yorkshire Terriers we mentioned earlier. Although these guys are little, they are certainly crammed with temperament and attitude, making them able to compete with much larger breeds. They are a hard-working breed, independent, 
fearless, affectionate, and smart. Heights reached are between 9 and 10 inches, and they weigh roughly 11 to 12 pounds. If you could own one of these adorable small breeds, which one would you most like to have? Let us know in the comments below and subscribe to our channel for more daily videos. Thanks for watching. Oh, <laughs>